Hey, what's up, guys? Got a uh, package in today. No, it's not a marsh. I wish. Going back down to the normal world now with some regular knives. So, not that I'm upset about the ones I've gotten, but can't get those every day or I'll be pleading some serious poverty. <clears throat> so, let's see. And sorry about the clearing of the throat. I actually had somebody bring up, I can tell who you are, um, just by the way you clear your throat. Yeah, I can't help it. I don't even know if I really need to clear my throat. It might be a nervous thing, or, well, not nervous, but just a habit. Anyway, so here we go. Got a new, I uh, saw this on a, actually, I saw this at Blade Show. Really liked them there, but I bought so much crap that uh, I didn't really feel I needed it at the time. I just had so much other cool stuff. But one came up on um, one of the sites, I believe it was Knife Center, I think. And uh, let's check it out. What we've got here is a Andre de Villers, or Villiers, or Vill Villiers, I'm not sure how to say it, but it's his, uh, his butcher knife. Now this one is the mid-tech, I believe, it's, or it might even be a production, I'm not sure, but I think it's the mid-tech version. Um, but you guys have seen these before, and uh, they had, he, had the, he, he had these there as well as some customs. And this came to me with some, looks like some scratches on the titanium. So I don't know if that came to Knife Center like that, or what. But as you guys are seeing, I'm opening it and it's got a few little marks on it here and there. But uh, really cool design. I like these a lot. Actually, I'd seen a bunch of people had them, just hadn't uh, pulled the trigger on one yet. Looks like a mark there. When they were putting the clip on or something. This might have come. Might have come from the manufacturer this way. Or these could have been the ones at Blade Show that didn't sell. And Knife Center grabbed them and they've just been touched a bunch of times. But this one is an actual uh, anodized titanium handle. They, they come in the plain, which is like a, almost not like a satin, not quite a polish. But uh, this was done in like a camo-ish type. But it's a nice warny type blade. We'll show that in a sec. Decent backspacer on it. I don't like the clip that much, but I do like the uh, way they use the standoff so that it's not screwed directly into the frame. It sits off a little bit. The spring clips are okay, I and mean, they actually work really well. It just doesn't look as cool. But over travel stop there. S35VN blade. And you've got your uh, Andre de Villers butcher right there. So. Um, let's see, the blade centering is right on the money. Which is a cool, cool looking design. So, um, flipper tab's got some good jimping. Hole cut out to match the rest of the scales. Decent pivot. So, so far, cool. So, let's see how it flips. Great. They flipped really good at the show, too. That's one of the things that I really liked about it. This one looks like it's got some. Uh, heat treat um, coloration still on the blade which I actually like but it's done in a like satin type uh, Warncliffe finish so it's got the fuller groove in it deep hollow ground S35VN really like the blade on these guys just a uh, Neat design. I mean, it's a very functional blade. So being that it's Wednesday, this could have been my Warny Wednesday knife. But um, I like the I like the feel of it. It's got a good, you know, I like a little bit larger knife. So this is a decent size knife. It fits my hand in it all the way. Great jimping on the spine of the blade. Cool swedge at the top. It's got a neat little look from this angle. So this piece that comes through here, this looks kind of cool. It's got a nice 
thinned out swedge on top. So actually it's a very cool knife. Like I say, I saw these at, uh, oh, very smooth too. I was able to mess with these at Blade and I liked them. They were, the customs were pretty pricey considering how much I'd already spent. I wasn't at the, uh, wasn't really feeling the need to buy it actually. This is, uh, this creates some functional type jimping as well on the top of the scale. So you've got it on your, you have it up on the blade, which is, it is pretty aggressive, but it's comfortable. And uh, I guess if you held your finger back some, your hand actually digs down in and, and gets stuck in this part. So that's good. So if you wanted to cut, it's not just a sl it's gonna slide, you know, your thumb slide over here. So when you get in there, you can feel it grab. So, uh, pretty nice. So early, early lockup, probably about mm, 15, 20% maybe, somewhere in that area. But very cool. Weirdest thing about this knife to me is when you, when it's just sitting here, you've got this massive, uh, just height on the blade because it is a wide blade. Not width this way, but just wide this way. So I don't know if you consider that wide or deep or whatever. But um, so it, it's kind of weird looking that direction. But in your pocket, I don't think it would be that that bad. So, but if they were to take it down with the scale, you'd have this really tiny blade, and it wouldn't be anywhere near as cool as this looks. But it flips great. It's got good action, good feel. We'll say it's a little bit of a hot spot here on the uh, this part. So I'm not certain what the purpose of that jimping is on the pocket clip, but as I'm holding it, it's when I when I grip it like this, it is hitting me right there. So maybe to keep it from moving, I don't. I think it's it'll definitely work. So anyway, let me uh, put this down and see if we can find some size comparisons to it. Only thing I got out right now is a. SJ. So obviously the SJ is quite larger than that. Actually, it's sticking to the bottom. So I know it doesn't look that different from here, but it's a good. Uh, it's really. It's really hard to say. Here I'll I'll, I'll show you guys because I always do it from this perspective. Let me show you guys from the top. So that'll give you a better idea. It's really not as. It's pretty much close to the same size as the SJ. It might be. It's a little bit shorter. But um, not by a crazy amount, so for those of you guys who get sick from motion sickness, I apologize for that. Let me see what else is in here. Larger size blade. We've got the Mosier Creep XL. That one's pretty close to it as well. Just looks bigger because of the angle we're going at here. I'll have to carry that soon. I love that knife. So... Just to give you guys an idea, it's a uh, it's a pretty cool knife. It's 3.75 inches in the blade, and I want to say, let's see what it is overall. I don't remember, but we're gonna find out. So we're at from the tip of the blade to the end of the scale is about a little over eight and a half inches, almost eight and three quarters. So uh, it's a decent sized knife. Got a nice little. Uh, glass breaker on the end built into that um, backspacer which looks pretty sweet. This comes in handy if you guys need it you know to get into something skull crusher or whatever you want to call it so anyway guys there you have it Andre de Villers uh, butcher knife so in the mid-tech version thanks for checking it out we'll talk with you soon take care